So some breaking news. Slavia Jukanovic has been appointed as the new Sheffield United manager. So I am really, really impressed with this. Obviously, he hasn't pulled up any trees since leaving Fulham. But he is someone who has a track record of getting clubs promoted from the Championship to the Premier League. Which is going to be his brief. Which is going to be the thing that he needs to be able to be a successful manager at Sheffield United. So, how has he done this? Um, well, he's got um, some good, good records in several different leagues. He's done well in the Thai Premier League and in the title there. He's won it in the Serbian Superliga several times with Partizan Belgrade. And he has won the playoffs with Fulham back in 2018 before being sacked and also won the promotion from the championship to the premier league with watford back in 14 15 and in that side he had igalo he had troy dini and he had vidra one of the most attacking most free scoring sides in the championship real 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 talent there so he has been in qatar managing since 1st of july 2019 and he's been there for oh, almost two years now and he's not one anything of note he was manager of fulham and he was manager of tel aviv and watford and then also uh, some managers um, clubs before that he has done very 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 well at everywhere he's been in england he's got the brief done he's got promoted with watford he's got promoted with fulham but unfortunately he wasn't able to do anything real pull up trees for fulham in the premier league he was sacked very very quickly and watford he wasn't given the chance to be manager of the premier league in watford and if he had maybe he probably wouldn't have been manager of fulham because i think he's a good manager in general i just i'm just not sure he would have been able to um to do that with fulham and we saw what happened with fulham fulham were terrible and got relegated so it wasn't like he started off real badly and, and they improved a lot they did end up getting relegated but sheffield united have said that they are thrilled to see Kanovic be the new club manager and he is a total takeover um, next season they're talking about his lengthy career as a player winning titles and winning lots of caps for uh, Yugoslavia and this is what he had to um, say I'm excited to work with in English football again I'm looking forward to getting started with the players and staff as well as meeting our passionate loyal supporters as we prepare for the challenge in the championship something he has done several times let's work together to get Sheffield United back to where the club belongs um, I think this is a really 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 good appointment because he is someone who has a track record of getting teams promoted he is someone that knows the league he knows what it takes to get promoted he's someone who usually has lots of goal scorers in his side lots of creativity in his side tom kearney was a big big influence when fulham got promoted in 2018 and we saw how he played and how influential he was in the watford side we saw the goals of the three people i previously mentioned and how influential they were to getting promoted so this is a very 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 good appointment i think and someone who i feel will get Sheffield United motoring again and probably around the sort of playoffs I would expect particularly with the players that they have um, but I, I think in my opinion Chris Wilder would have done a similar job I think Chris, Chris Wilder would be around the playoffs as well he's certainly a better appointment than Heckenbottom I'm glad they didn't do the route of appointing him something similar really to what happened with Jason Tindall and Jason Tindall was obviously assistant and uh, Paul Heckenbottom was on 23 manager but he was definitely definitely the wrong man but there's lots of players here who could be key next season Ramsdale is a in the England squad so he's clearly got talent and you've got players who were key when they got promoted such as O'Connell such as Basham Baldock and Ender Stevens were key in the back line as they got promoted David McGoldrick scored a lot of goals that season Billy Sharp scored a lot of goals that season and they've also improved in certain areas as well with players who have played in the championship previously such as Jaden Bogle Max Lowe both were at Derby Ollie McBurney has showed he scores goals in the championship Sander Berger is a very, very, very good player. Moussa should be able to score goals at that level. So we've got a lot of players who will be able to 
play at that level and do well at that level. Lots of strikers. I mean, Rian Booster is another one that has played at that level and did fairly well on his loan at Swansea. So they've got a lot of players that could improve and do well under Jukanovic to try and get them back promoted. And I'm expecting Sheffield United to be challenging next season for promotion and a straight return back to the Premier League. They've got lots of good players. Now they've got a manager to be able to see that return someone who's got a track record of promotions you don't need a track record of promotions to get promoted from the championship but someone who knows what they're doing is could be very 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 key very key indeed um so there you go um sheffield united have appointed Jukanovic as their new manager thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you are new let me know how you feel about this in the comments below but thank you so much for watching my name is mike and i will see you soon